Hey everybody, it's February 15th. We are at the DEI event badging meeting. We have a little small core group today, so that's good. We'll probably power through this agenda quickly. Um, let me share my screen. There we go. Yeah, so uh, if you want to drop your name, oh, here's the minutes too. Uh, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? <laughs> to have the minutes. Hi. Hey, Matt. Hello, good morning. Hi. Hey, Matt. Hi, Mary Blessing. Hi, Josh. Sorry, I'm a little late. No, that's funny. Uh, Thank you. Um, is Elizabeth speaking? I can't hear. I'm, I'm back. My Zoom crashes if, like, I'm logged in as Chaos Community and Matt or Sean oh. also, if somebody else is. It just, my Zoom is like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, goodbye. Hi. <laughs> I, I, just I'll check next time. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, it didn't stop recording, did it? No. No, it did not. Awesome. All uh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for that. Uh, oh, wait. Now I have to find my... Okay. This is the right window. I'll close that. There we go. All right. We're good. We're back. Uh, if you want to put your... Oh, Baroon. I can spell my own name today. Uh, if you want to drop your name in the minutes, that's awesome. If not, that's also fine. I lost my uh, chat window too. Oh man, I'm a mess today. What's happening? Technology is not my friend. There you go. All right. We had a meeting late yesterday. So <laughs> you, you haven't. I haven't recovered. <laughs> it wasn't even that late. <laughs> it's like at 7 p.m. my time. Josh is up at like 6 o'clock in the morning to get here. So yeah, I'll stop complaining. <laughs> um, okay, so first thing on the agenda, I, Sean, uh, actually, no, never mind. Sean's going to be facilitator for DEI working group later. So I'll just go ahead and facilitate this. Um, the minutes, I did archive them. Um, if you're wondering where they all went, um, well, I thought I did. Oh, I guess I didn't. That's weird. Okay, I'll check that. It was a dream. It was a dream. It's like a time <laughs> where you're like, yeah, that would be a good idea. And then you think in your mind you did it, but you didn't. I knew I did something. Maybe I, okay. I did it. I just didn't delete them from this original doc. So my bad. I am so sorry about that. I will fix that after this meeting. Um. Okay. So the next one is uh, the three new metrics uh, that we are working on that will be added to the application process. I think I know how to do that. Oh, hey, Mary, would you mind muting? I think we're hearing some background noise from you. Thank you. Um, so event accessibility is ready to go. I wanted to double check where we are with this one. Are we about, I know Georg had, um, I think some, was it Georg? Somebody had some comments. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, I think we've worked through all of, uh, all of his comments, except for one, which is a pretty minor edit. It's this sentence, I think. Just looking to re reframe that. Uh, was it this one? It's the one that's starting right. with depending. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's just fix it now while we're here. Okay. So, uh, what do we want to say here? It's public health policy mentions. Let's see. Here's the doc if we all want to jump in here, because I'm not sh sure how we want to say it. Ah, uh, 
I see. So <clears throat> this this first comment, if I'm understanding correctly, is really that like each of these things um I guess it's not necessarily for each one of these things, but uh, you know, do you communicate these things? And then separately, do you do these things? I see. How do we want to uh, say this? Or is this just fine right here? I think what's up there is fine. I think the suggestion really implies an edit down below, which I can, <clears throat> excuse me, I can take a, a just take a shot at editing live, see if, see if we can, I can sure. that mark. Yeah. Is it about the list you think, Josh? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's about adding um, sort of a different, a different thing to the list. So uh, just one sec here. And then we can just divide them as appropriate. I see. Like this part right here would go up here. Oops. Oh. Okay, I think I think that's roughly what's what's being suggested here. I see. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Can we um should we expand this for like masking for attendees, speakers, exhibitors, and staff, any staff? Should we do that or just leave it straight up masking? Um, I think in this case, the the suggestion is like, ask if they say anything about it. Okay. Like, as a general topic. So okay. I won't get too specific in the first list. Okay. Okay, can I make one suggestion in that we flip the order of the two lists or flip the order of the sentences above? So right now it says first an organizer needs to decide oh yes just to keep them parallel that's all yeah perfect. yeah that, that makes sense it's sort of it's flipped in the order that it's suggested yeah. in the paragraph i see yep and refunds is a good one yeah refunds is an important one because uh you don't want to have any incentive for people to fudge the fact that they're sick or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you think we have addressed Georg's comment here? I do. Yeah, I think so. Boom. Yeah, this is a good point. Yeah, that I think I wouldn't expect change there in the next 18 months or <laughs> maybe even two, three years. But oh. uh, yeah, fingers crossed, right? Yeah. 
uh, but I do expect that he's right that that's that's the thing that might be in flux over time or that mm -hmm. that will be in flux over time mm -hmm. but you know the fact that we have this now foundational metric we can easily just change it to whatever we need to change it to so, yeah, yeah exactly and something like that just from a process perspective doesn't need to go out to review right we would just add it in yeah okay cool all right and then we'll know the issue once we open that. Um, anything else? I think we're, it feels like we're ready. No, it feels like it's good to go start the process of the issue and sharing it with folks, just doing a review period. This is something that uh, Matt remind me to bring up in the common meeting mm -hmm. that if we are gonna shift away from the like hard releases twice a year, we need yeah. someone to track that period of review because we don't have a good way to do that now so yeah actually i wanted to talk about the period of review because we get very little yeah and i'm you know part of some of these metrics too have like urgency is not the right word but they have kind of a timeliness associated with them now and just the way that we're starting to do them so like in this example it's tied to the badging program or it's tied to a metric model or it's tied to some activity like i can see project badging right in several that kind of need to move a little bit faster so i i do want to talk about that review period yeah maybe that's something we have like the user group just review it you know, or yes. yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. We just do kind of an internal review and then we could just say it's been released. And if you see any problems, <laughs> right. go ahead and please we'll, speak up. We'll yeah. fix them. Right. Because, and we have done that in the past too, you know, after the review period, yes. people have occasionally, you know, yeah. So awesome. All right. So, action item for me. Uh, post this in an issue. How about if I post it to the issue and then also just put it out on the website? Can I do that? I don't have any problem with that. Okay. That way it's like good to go. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Making it happen. Well, and we need to, I mean, we've talked about this anyway. This is a little out of band for this group, but like the whole process of release had become too burdensome anyway. Yeah. yeah. So we, we need to focus on improving. Actual, yeah. Mm -hmm. The meat of the work and not the. Josh, did you have a comment? Is that what that light bulb means? I don't know what light bulb means. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was meta commentary. Like, oh, yeah, that, that's a good point. Good idea. Oh. Yay, I learned that today. I'm going to use that. Uh, yeah, I've never used the light bulb before. <laughs> I haven't either. I will use that going forward. Thanks, Josh, <laughs> bringing us so much info. That's a good tribute. <laughs> OK, um, let's jump on down here to this one real quick. This one was looking pretty good, I think. I mean, it's missing some of the stuff from our uh, template. So I can apply that, you know, like our um, comment about the ethical use of metrics and things like that. Yeah. So I'll have to bring that up to speed. Uh, I think too, like just kind of how we, we have in a lot of our metrics now, we have the description as is here, um, but then we also kind of have the, the user story kind of things, you yeah. know, like this is useful for, this would be fairly straightforward, but useful yeah. for organizers and event attendees. Mm -hmm. What do we call that? Do we call that uh, user stories? Uh, let me, I just, I'll go get the template. It's so easy to get now from. We used to have a link. Yeah, no. I do want to leave these stars in here though. That would make me yeah, I like the stars. I don't <laughs> know. like the stars. <laughs> Sorry, Josh, did you have any, I know you said this was of interest to you specifically. Did you have any um, comments or anything to add on this or did you add them already that I missed? Yeah, you know, I uh, I regret I've not I had to cycle to actually spend some time on it yet. Totally um, fine. But yeah. what I have noticed is that the implementation and the 
uh, well, and then the two areas areas that Justin had left comments on um, look like they're not quite complete. Okay. Yeah. So it's something that I'd love to get across the line and love to contribute to, but I uh, haven't had a chance to yet. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. No worries at all. Um, does somebody want to drop the minute? Oh, thank you, Matt, for dropping the minutes in for Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Okay. So how about this? How about if uh, I take a little time offline and try to bring this up to speed with our template, which Matt so kindly dropped in here. Nope. There we go. Yeah, so we'll just need to make that fit this and add any other stuff in there. So I can take a pass at that, unless somebody else thinks that they will have time and wants to do it. I don't want to take it away from anybody or block them. No, I can can, please have that. Yeah. Just you can tag me on anything too, Elizabeth. I'm happy to help. Okay, cool. Uh, Awesome. All right. Anything else with these three metrics? Um, I'll mention uh, just for context on the public health one. Uh, I know one of the things we talked about was uh, wanting to have the uh, public health pledge badging process itself stood up. Um, so that, that can be used as an input. So I just wanted to follow up and confirm that that process is uh, has been soft launched. Um, and we're running the Open Infrastructure Summit through through that process. So, um, so yeah, su- successfully in flight, and all the URLs are, are solid. So I've Great. already dropped into the uh, template doc. Sorry, Josh. Did you just say you would drop a soft or a, drop a URL to the place where those events will be listed? Did you just say that? Yes, uh, okay. and that is right there. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Because I'm trying to add this stuff into the application process, like hopefully by the end of next week. Or, yeah. Um, that would be amazing. I'll do my best. Because <laughs> I have to go back. I mean, it's been a long time since we've changed that. So I have to go back and look and see what the process was. And it might be a little complex. So I will just take a pass at it. I will try. Something that I think would be helpful for both the public health pledge and for the uh, DEI badging, the gas DEI badging, is a way to make the awarded uh, or the badged events, make that information accessible like programmatically. We had talked about this, Elizabeth Yuhui. Oh, yeah has talked about this just in terms of making like a badge programmatically accessible so that we can just you know send a essentially via an api we need to send a a request to to get the list or to query for one particular event or whatever it might be Um, and maybe we haven't done this josh and so i'm wondering if maybe we could do this together I love it. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to uh, collaborate on uh, making a sort of a, a, aligning the efforts there. Okay, because it looks like your approach is going to follow really similar to what we have, and I'm yeah. guessing that making that information available would be would work for both both of us. Absolutely. Right on. I'll uh, I will add that to my own backlog as well. Okay. Well, I I think this is something we could probably put out to the chaos community just to ask if people would be interested in helping to deploy such a service. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. And I suspect there will be a number of people who will have an interest in doing this. It's a really good idea. It's a really, really good idea. 
And I know that our stuff at some point is in, you know, because we have it automatically added to our README. So I know somewhere that information is stored. <laughs> I don't know how to get it out, but I know that we have that somewhere. Exactly. Right. And how do we make that available for folks? Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move forward. I just have one question for Josh. Oh, sure. is, there, is there a way to apply at the moment on this? Yes. So. Um... Oh, I see. Submission guidelines. Yeah, there's a. You know what I haven't added is a is a nice like graphical button to make it really clear like apply I here. I see. I gotcha. I yeah, see it's the uh, the really long linked sentence and under apply. I gotcha. And I'll I'll, I'll note that this is one area where uh, so I've mirrored the process as much as possible. We <clears throat> what I've done here is uh, since I know that we're approaching. We're going to be inclusive of events that are outside of open source in the tech industry. Um, so we just have a Google form for the entry point. We still do push everything to GitHub issues so that we can discuss, <clears throat> excuse me, discuss things in the open. Um, but we give the submitter the option of uh, not having a GitHub account, basically. Okay. Yeah, I think that's been that's been a point of. Well, honestly, that's been a pain point for our event organizers as well, that they are required to have a GitHub account. And, you know, a lot of them don't because they're not, you know, they're not software developers. So <laughs> they're event organizers. So um, that has been a, a point of, of contention for us too. So um, with our new badging website, I think we will solve that. But um, yeah, I, I like that, um, that you're just using a, is this, you said this is a simple Google form? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you click it, yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's super easy. Okay. Um, okay, and uh, just to be clear, um, we, we talked about this on Discourse, but I just want to bring it here as well. Um, we are adding these three to the application. We are not implementing yet a hard yes, no on anything yet, because that's going to take a little work on our badging bot, um, which we are hopeful. Did I add that to the thing? No, I didn't. Um, we're hoping that we can use that as a good She Code Africa project um, because it feels like it's a, a pretty, you know, contained thing. And She Code Africa is usually about a four week project. So we're really hoping that that will all work out. <laughs> the timing and everything will all work out. Um, but that is in the works. If it doesn't work out, we'll go to plan B on that. But um, so that's kind of where we are. So we we will we will be doing that, but not quite yet. So, okay, perfect. And so then those three metrics will just kind of follow the same 80% yeah. Yeah. path that we use. Okay. Yes, yes. And so actually, and my question is, so um, as I'm adding this in, so am I just putting one check for this? Like, did you get this badge check? I think so, yes. Okay, perfect. And if okay. so, please provide the link to it. To the URL for the your yeah your badges, which will okay, be on that. Which will be this page. Yep. Ph pledge. Yeah, <laughs> Ph right. pledge. <laughs> Ph pledge. There we go. <laughs> Ph pledge. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Awesome. I think I got all my questions answered. So the next one is I just wanted to bring attention if we did have any badgers on the call, um, make sure you check this issue for me. Um, we're trying to kind of uh, reset things, I think. Um, we have a lot of badgers that have been out of rotation for a little while, so we want to give them an opportunity to come back. Or if you have been in the rotation and you would like to take a step out, that's also totally valid. Um, we're also, we have two forms somehow. Thank you, Josh, for bringing that up. <laughs> for, I don't know how this has happened, but we do have two forms. I don't have access to the results of the other form, which is what you filled out, Josh. So where yeah. is it? Can you, can you it's, put it, it? It's actually um, at the top of the minutes, this form right here. Okay. I don't believe I have access to the results of this form. Wait, I, I'm going to dig in because um, we do have some docs from when Matt Cantu Snell handed it over. I think we would guess it's him. 
I'm, and this one I'm guessing too. So yeah. um, I do have some docs that he left with us. I'm gonna dig deep and try to find that. Maybe there is a link in there somewhere. Okay, that you, you could reach out to him too. Yeah, he's around still, I think, yep. generally, yeah. Um, so I just need to do a little research on that. <laughs> So we'll figure it out, but thank you, Josh, for, for finding this. Yeah, I put a comment here too for myself, just as a reminder to talk uh, are we How are you feeling with the number of badgers? I think I think we're okay. Um, I think we're okay for now. Um, I, it will be interesting to see if we do have anybody switch status, if we mm -hmm. have some folks that are like, no, take me totally off or like mm -hmm. how things will shake down. So that's why I kind of okay. want to just do a reset and see before this wave comes in, if we do okay. need more um, folks. I was looking last year, it looked like it's closer a little bit towards April, May. That mm -hmm. being said, yeah. OSSNA is in May. Yeah, this so it'll be title. sooner. It will be yeah. sooner. <clears throat> so yeah, but we'll sort it out. And also I think <clears throat> Mary, I think you had also indicated that you wanted to be a badger as well. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll need to onboard Mary and Josh both. So that's why I put this here. Um, we'll schedule something in the next few weeks, if that's okay. I'll, I'll send a doodle around and then we can also invite whoever else wants to be could a new you, badger as well. Could you just use this time, like 30 minutes, like kind of what we do with the community call for just a thought. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. I think we might have folks on this call that are not badgers specifically, though, sometimes. No, but like you would kind of like what we do with Chaos Con. We're like, okay, if you're not doing the new badger orientation, <clears throat> just hop off. Oh, yeah. We're ending 30 minutes early this week just to, yeah. do, just to help with like <laughs> no, not more needs. meetings. Yes. Yes. Let's use the second half of this meeting. Um, to do that. Okay, perfect. So Mary and Josh, just let me know if there's a meeting that you will, like this meeting, if you'll be here in the next few weeks, maybe, um, when's the next one? The 20, uh, I guess it will be the first. Is that right? Somebody have a calendar handy. Oh. Is this weekly? Bi-weekly. Well, then it's the first. It is the first. Okay. Will you both? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do March uh, four, 15th then. What, do you think you'll both be around for that? Yeah, I am around. Awesome. And that gives us enough time too, to spread the word and yes. if anybody else wants to join. Okay. March 15th. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Good, 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 good idea. And and then, uh, this, this has to do with an NPR article that I heard about a company that canceled all their meetings. Have you heard about this? No, <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> and they looked at their monthly calendar and they canceled like 3000 hours of meetings. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. So much time. Yes. Wow. Maybe we should have one, like one day a month and just do all the meetings in one day. <laughs> all, all the working groups. <laughs> Here's your meeting day. That would be really exhausting though, I would say. Okay, anyway, uh, let's move on to this. I just wanted to let you all know, I did do some outreach to um, the Linux Foundation events team, as well as the Buzzword Berlin events yeah, yeah. team. Um, I think those are our two main groups of folks that have yeah. have um, participated in badging. So I let them know, a these three um, new metrics are coming up. We're also I also let them know that eventually we would be putting in that hard yes no okay. thing, and I let them know um, that we are we want to start that event organizer kind of group for folks to uh, connect okay. with each other. Yeah, yeah. Berlin Buzzwords already got back to me, and actually they had already expressed interest when I chatted with them in the fall. They are super interested in it. They are just absolutely excited. Like they are, they really want to join that. Um, okay. I haven't heard back from the events team, but I'm thinking it might take a little longer because what I did was I just emailed the whole team at once. They have one shared email. So that's the one I sent it to. 
and then I don't the have their foundation. Yeah, I don't have their individual emails. And I, I like I looked at their staff page and like quite a few of them have submitted like one or two applications. So I thought maybe that would be the best way to, s to spread the word. And I, okay. I asked them to help me like make sure everybody knows that this stuff is coming. So, um, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you don't, if you feel like you're not hearing back, I can help maybe a little bit too, but I'm kind of like you, like even the people I work with with chaos con seems to rotate almost every time yeah it really does so um yeah i'm just like i'm just gonna blast the whole team <laughs> so sorry lf events team i love you i'm sorry <laughs> but hopefully we'll get the word out that way okay and i've been trying to i'm trying to make a point of connection with the eclipse foundation as well mm, right right yeah yep. and so i'll i sent i sent a few emails um but I'll continue to do that. That would be great. Yeah, this this group who does this, um, th they are awesome. They are awesome. I really like them a lot. I think they were actually our first badge. So yeah. And I haven't I haven't checked. Oh, actually, this is another thing I wanted to bring up to this group. So the badging bot has been having some issues. I was really hoping Enoch would be here today. Um, the badging bot has been having issues and I know Enoch is super busy and I, I pinged him a few times. I think he's just really overwhelmed right now. I'm not sure what to do with this. Um, we have a couple applications that are kind of hanging out there because the bot's broken and I don't know what to do with it. Like if we want to hand it off to somebody, I mean, obviously we would need Enoch's help to do that. Um, and I did reach out to him to see kind of like what what he's feeling, how he wants to handle it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I wanted to kind of bring that to this group as well, um, just to see like what y'all thought. So um, like kind of open source, right? We probably should try to connect more people to help with solving these problems. I I would kind of lean on just being open and transparent, perhaps with um, the, I mean, I, this almost seems like it could go in the general channel. Yeah. So we could use a hand with the badging bot. Yeah. I think it's an okay ask. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. And, you know, and to, you know, Enix credit, I mean, he, He's been carrying this. This was supposed to be a Google Summer of Code project yeah, yeah. that just had a start and end. And he's been kind of just keeping it going, maintaining it and fixing it when it breaks. And it's not it's not the bot's fault. It's I think GitHub's OctoKit keeps changing and it changes. Okay. It like breaks the, the interaction trail. So whenever they make a change, it affects us. <laughs> if they would leave it alone, it would be fine. <laughs> but they but maybe, can't do that. <laughs> how about we how about um, maybe you I, please um, could send one like uh, message to general that say, hey, like with respect to badging, we have two things that we could really use a hand with. One is the bot and its um, interaction with OctoCat, I think. Is OctoKit. Mm -hmm. OctoKit. Yeah, it's like um, API stuff, yeah. OK, so we, we could really use a hand there. Um, and we could also use a hand with um, making our badges like, programmatically accessible. Like you could kind of tuck both of those in together. Yeah. That sounds good. Available in available through an API. Okay. Yep. And then also the bot and its interaction with OctoKit. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I will do that then. Yeah. Like, I don't and, want to step on Enix's toes, but also, like... No, but, I mean... I'm sure he could use some help. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not fair to just be like, hey, you know, go fix this yeah. thing <laughs> every <Yeah>. time. <laughs> and these are just things that we... I mean, I'm with you. We need to... We need to... Yeah. Address them to make sure that the process works well. Yeah. And, you know, what? and that also brings up another issue that is kind of outside of band for this meeting, but just um, sustainability in general and, like, handing off of things. Um, Kingsley did mention, and I guess it's kind of related with the with the badging website and design 
um, components that we had a lot of folks that jumped in and did stuff and then had to move on or haven't been back around yep. or as active and nobody knows how to continue the work. So like that's an ongoing thing I think in chaos. So it's a bigger, it's a bigger conversation than this. Sure. But I think that's why the badging website has taken a little bit longer than Kingsley would have liked. Is yeah. because we did have we kind of have this like rotation of folks that come and go and are varying in their availability and just handing it off to others. Yep. So um, let's say to thirst to others. And then maybe because I, I suspect we'll get responses of people who have an interest. And I'm wondering, like, should we just try to encourage them to come to this meeting? And we can talk about it here. I don't I would, know what the urgency is. Yeah, let me just look at the uh, uh, oops. Let me just look at the web or the um, repo real quick. And just see like if there are issues out here that can they enhancement. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. So I don't know if it, pointing them here would be good or pointing them to, maybe I'm thinking maybe the badging Slack. And they we can could, ask yep, there. and have the conversation there. Yeah, about like what you yeah, have to That would be a great idea. So maybe if you're interested, please join us in badging Slack. Yeah. And we'll go from there. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? Anything? What else is on our list today? We had a big long list. Hi, Katie, by the way. Here's Thank the you. minutes. If you need them. It's a little late, I know, in the game, but there you go. This was great. I'm, I'm good. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Um, yeah. And if, if nobody has anything else, we can head out. All right. I will see everybody later. Thanks for coming. Thanks, everybody. Hey guys. Bye. Yeah.